I'm Ingo Grillenberger. I'm a technical program manager at Canametal for special tooling applications. And our latest innovation in the e-mobility arena relates to this electric engine. Electric engines in general are not a big challenge for us because it's just an aluminum housing. But there is one critical place, there's one challenge, and that's the main starter housing bore. The problem is that this bore, it holds the rotor, and as it is um, split into two parts, yeah, the cover and the, uh, the housing itself, it has to be very accurate. So we have the seat for the cap, we have the stator bore itself, and we have um, the bearing seat. So the shape looks more or less like this. Yeah, we have IT6 tolerances quite tight. We have um, cylindricity values uh, from 10 to 20 microns typically. And we have concentricity values around 20 microns typically. So that is really challenging for tools. That requires that you, that you have to machine it with one tool. You cannot machine it um, with an intermediate tool change. You have to do the whole process within one tool, at least the finishing operation. Um, imagine a tool of that size here, yeah, remember you have um, big diameters, you have large depth. If you imagine this tool being made from steel the traditional way, it would have maybe 25 kilograms. If you reduce as much weight as possible, maybe 20, maybe somewhere below 20 kilograms. And the main challenge here is the machine tool grippers, the automatic tool changes cannot handle it. Yeah, so they take it out from the magazine carry it to the machine spindle, put it into the machine spindle, and due to the weight and especially to the tilting moment, they cannot, ha they cannot handle it anymore. Besides this, of course, we have other advantages. So chip-to-chip -chip time is uh, reduced because you can accelerate the tool faster, uh, you can decelerate it faster. Of course, the operators are considered in this as well because they do not have to lift 25 kilograms or 20 kilograms to the spindle. They carry 10 kilograms instead of 20 kilograms. So we have two versions here, two more or less two development steps. This is 10.5 kilograms, this is 9.5 kilograms. This has 30 newton meters tilting moment around the gripper slot. This has 11 newton meters tilting moment around the gripper slot. Additional to the weight and to the tilting moment, we have additional benefits that is related to the coolant system because we can directly print it into these arms here. So that means you can see it better in the, in the completed only version. We can print the, the coolant channels directly into the center tube here. Then the coolant goes, these arms here are hollow. So, and the coolant channel is printed directly into this arm so we can bring it directly to the place where we need it. Here, um, the dampening pads in that case and of course the the other way around here to the insert so this is the coolant for the insert here is the coolant for the dampening pads the the design approach here has to be different to the to the conventional design approach so normally you start um, with a um, with a block of steel and remove material where you don't need it the approach is different here so you you think about what is needed in a tool and that's the cutting edge and that's the uh, dampening pad. So you go the other way around. The forces that, that are generated in the front area, the consideration is how do I get them back to the center hub and to the spindle. And this is how this organic design here developed. And I think um, with this approach and this design, we have a really nice solution that our customers can benefit from.